Hi, we're Team Green Coin. My name is Alex, this is Fabian, Arno, Gustavo, and Raed. And today, well, we'll be presenting Sahil, powered by RTA Coin. This idea actually emerged while we were in Jitex, the day before coming here, when we crossed some RTA officials, and they found out that we were working on cryptocurrencies and the blockchain. They challenged us to try to find a solution on how to merge RTA with the blockchain, and actually try to tackle one of the world challenges. So, the problem here is very simple. Cars in Dubai are generally just occupied by a single person, and that's applicable to the UAE. On top of that, there's huge amounts of pollution, and most of it comes from car emissions. Finally, people are getting angry and angry. I mean, in the streets, they're violent. People are not happy anymore. I mean, just look at it. People are getting depressed. They're looking for solutions for that. And look at the number of people just screaming at you in the cars. Our solution is very simple. We will try to reward people who share their cars and the people who fill every seat in their cars with our own cryptocurrency. This will enable us to actually reduce traffic in the UAE, starting with Dubai. Next, we'll also well, <laughs> reward people taking public transportations that are green, such as the metro, green buses, hybrid taxis with our crypto as well. And part of that is also bringing large number of insights to the government, key data points that will enable them to figure out what's happening in the country and turn that into actionable results for the country itself. All of this happens thanks to what we call RTA coin. And we plug it in to an existing app that we've redesigned called Sahil. But before going into just showing you pictures, why don't we do a live demo of this app? Okay, great. So let's launch the app over here. Here we've redesigned their whole app to integrate some smart functionalities. And so let's start with, well, let's go to do a journey of with, with our car. So right here, I enter my car, and to prove that I'm with multiple people, I'll actually take a selfie of myself. As you can notice, I'm alone on this picture. And with our smart, well, face recognition artificial intelligence, we try to recognize, and well, here you see that there's only one person on this. We'll try to do it again with my whole team, guys. Come on. <laughs> Let's get in my car, guys. Come on. And so here we'll go through an, an analysis of this picture. And well, <laughs> it detected that we have more than one people. You are carpooling, and here are two RTA coins that have been mined for you. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, small problem. <laughs> Okay, so Sahil, next. Okay, great. So as you've seen, our core technology is based on this AI face recognition technology with count faces. It has machine learning, so it'll get more and more intelligent with time. I'll like to, to talk to you about a key, some key features. You're able here to find all the public uh, bikes in Dubai. You're able to also find lots of stuff, but one feature that keeps deep to my heart is actually the Abra. You're able to learn more about the traditional ways to transport yourself in the UAE. There's more information about how people did it in the past and how you can implement yourself with that. Why us? We'll just do that very quickly. Because we bring crypto to public transportation and to governance. We have crypto, uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain expertise in our team. And we give insights to governments and authorities. Our revenue model is quite simple. We create 10 billion coins that are going to be distributed. Out of those, 5% of are going to be sold through an offering. we are going to give us fiat currency, which will enable startup growth. Very simply after that, for each coin that is mined, we take a micro make permission called a mining fee, which enables us to have constant revenue for the future. 
We won't go much through the financials. I'll just tell you very quickly we're a bit positive from year one. Year one, a bit positive, guys. Extra time, extra time. <laughs> okay, financials, just to go quickly. So we have one revenue stream, which are the mining, mining fees, and other ones, which are the ICO and the release of tokens. So just very basically, I'd like to thank you for your time. And before going into any questions, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to invite my little team on stage, because this is not a one-person job. Oh, and before finishing, we 3D printed one coin, and I'd like to offer it to one of the, to the judges. This is the first RTA coin that has been produced. You can share it between each other. <laughs> Thank you very much. I have two questions. One is, what is the main purpose of your app? If you'd have to describe it in one sentence, what is the value add for the customers? And two, what do I, as a, as a customer, if I start collecting the coins, what can I do with them? Because I was not clear on that, thanks. Okay, well, very basically, the value of our app is that, well, we help the, the world, we make the world greener and happier, very simply. And you as a user, how are those coins going to be useful for you? I don't know if anybody of you already took the, the Dubai Metro. You have this thing called a null card. All of these coins are going to be credited to your null card. So you can either use it to pay for your metro, to pay for your Salik, and even better, I don't know if you've noticed this, but in most retailers, petrol stations, and etc., in the UAE, well, in Dubai at least, you have this small pay by null. So you will be able to use any of these coins in any retailer in Dubai who already accepts payments by null. How do you, how do you essentially pool? You know, the, this is uh, what we are talking about over here. The solution is to reduce the traffic on the road, uh, reduce the carbon I, I, emission. I cannot. Okay, the, your solution is to reduce the carbon emission and also pull the car, right? So that there is a, a less congestion on the road. Mm -hmm. So that means you are pulling the car, right? It's a carpool uh, solution. How do you do the carpool? How do you bring uh, more uh, passengers in your uh, car? Well, first, there, there are two aspects of the solution. One of them is, in fact, the carpooling. The second one is simply rewarding people who take public transport because nobody takes it in the UAE. Let's, let's, let's be okay with that. Everybody's comfortable having their own car, their own driver, and taking their taxi on their own. How do we get them to do it together? I'll take you a simple example. I've been in the UAE since 2008. When I was in high school, my dad has his car, my stepmother had her car and I had my car. If you start already by encouraging families to take the car together, you already have a big market there. And then to encourage people to do it even more, well, it's a free carpooling. It's not like other Carpool Arabia and others where people have to pay each other. The incentives come, come from the government, it comes from directly the RTA here, from the coins that we've created. Is the RTA, how is the RTA supporting this? Are they, are they gonna be an investor? Are they going to, provide other incentives to get you, get this going? Okay, so uh, as I said, this idea just emerged while we were at the ITA, uh, RTA booth, and we had these two officials that talk, challenged us with this, and we told them that we were here at the boot camp, and they said, okay, well, perfect, come pitch it to us next week once you've validated it at the boot camp. legislation and in terms of you know the, the, the this concept in terms mm -hmm. of the one coin and the, and the RTA coin that you'd be pitching I think if, okay. please yeah, answer I, I get the question uh, for the moment there's no regulations around cryptocurrencies however the state of Abu Dhabi has recognized it a few weeks ago as an official currency Dubai is still in the process of getting their legislations around it and <laughs> It's very simple. I'm an ex-banker myself. Um, th there is no regulation in this country today, as per se. There's a lot of discussions going on on what the regulations will be. But no matter what happens, I guess you all now understand that the future is cryptocurrency and it is blockchain technology. Uh, the world is changing completely. My colleagues here 
that are experts in coding and blockchain, they call blockchain Internet 3.0. There's no way around it. Blockchain is, every, is everywhere because it concerns every company that has transactions, whether financial or others. So there is not going to be a problem with regulation. And about the UAE with cryptocurrencies, I don't know if you had heard about it, but Dubai launched last week the M coin, the Emirati coin. And so, I mean, they're in the process and it is going to be legislated and accepted in this country because Dubai wants to be the first government which is fully running on the blockchain by 2020. And just to, as a closing note, I'd like to tell to everybody here, you might be for blockchain or against blockchain, but the only thing you can do is ignore it because it is going to happen. Thank you. Thank you.